Gary has the tea and the clue of the day. Yup, and the tea is brought to you by Detroit, August 4th. Uncover the most terrifying secret in American history. For the director of Zero Dark Thirty and the Hurt Locker, Detroit will be one of the most talked about movies of the summer from Anna Purdy Pictures. And later on this week, we'll be talking to Al G. Smith and uh, another uh, character from the movie as well, man. It's a good movie. Good up, morning, Gary? good morning, Headcrack. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. I have here a good friend of the morning show, y'all, because you know a lot of celebrities are doing, you know, reconstruction of their bodies and what have you. And I said, you know what? What better than to have a doctor in the building that could talk about plastic surgery? I want y'all to welcome Dr. Nicholas Jones in the building. Hey, hey. Woo! Dr. Jones, okay, we're going to get right to it. You know, all of, there's not a celebrity on earth that I know of that has not had plastic surgery or some kind of tweak done to their body. And the latest person that we've been talking about is Amber Rose. She said that she want to reduce her breasts. She said they weigh um, gallons. So tell us about <laughs> breast reduction. Do you, do you do breast reductions? Yes, I, I do. I do breast reduction. So typically, uh, it's patients, they, they have back pain, shoulder pain, and their breasts are just too large. And so they come in uh, for a consultation. Uh, we get them prepared. That surgery takes about two or three hours, and it involves uh, just cutting out some of the breast tissue, sewing it up, and the, the recovery usually takes about three or four weeks. So, so I have a question, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm not trying to be negative or messy. Okay. I'm just asking for a friend. Okay. If you have somebody that you work with have serious like belly fat and back fat, how do you do those two? Yes, yes. We we like we can liposuction. And a lot of women these days, uh, instead of just getting rid of the fat, what we can do is we can go ahead and transfer that fat to the to the ads. Really? You do butter trans? I mean, yeah, Brazilian but butt lift. Oh, it's, really? It's suction the fat out. Uh -huh. and instead of discarding it, we can go ahead and put a little bump in the in a, in a, in a back. So that means because we was trying to be well, cute, honey, talking about me. So I can take the fat out of my back and transfer and get a Brazilian butt lift. Yes, you want a Brazilian butt lift too? Well, we, I we mean, we can make it happen. Oh, really? Oh, take our okay. Gary's back, but he would have a huge ass. <laughs> 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 All right. Now some of the other questions, um, Dr. Jones. All right. Now with the um, the implants. Now I know there's like different types, saline and um, and silicone. Correct. Correct. Now we have here this young lady here. Tell them, introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Jess. Jess Larry. How you doing, Jess? I'm good. And I heard you earlier. You were saying. Beautiful. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Oh, look, yeah. Dr. Jones. Thanks. He bit his lip when he said oh, it. Oh, he meant it. Um. Well, I heard you earlier. You saying you you know. You can, you do brush reductions. Okay, so say if Amber Rose, you did Amber Rose, right? Okay. And um, you took her tissue out. Could you clean her tissue and put it over here in me? No. You can't, can't transfer no, the you, tissue? You can't transfer it from person. From one body to no. body. Uh -uh. What if we the same blood type? No. What is <laughs> no, you can't. But you can get some saline um, breasts, though, or some um, silicone breast implants. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Can we can get you some silicone or some saline. Uh, we call that a 6K. We get you a 6K. Okay, all right, well, I'm going to see you, doctor, because I see the way you're looking at me. I see that. Like that. <laughs> so, so what's the difference between silicone and saline? So uh, silicone is a little bit more expensive, but uh, typically the silicone, it's more natural. It feels more natural. And with the saline, if it ruptures, you know immediately. But the silicone, because it's so cohesive, the patient may not know that it ruptured. But when you, but when you get, like, you know, like a, a breast, like, transplant, or, you know, like, and you lose all nipple sensitivity, right? That's usually uh, just something that, that that's temporarily. Typically, uh, the sensation they it comes back in about three or four months. Oh, Ooh, okay. Now tummy tucks. Now tummy tucks. I mean, I know Ricky was considering a tummy tuck, and I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, not, nothing compared to yours, buddy. So, so how, how long does it take to have a tummy tuck? And I mean, how long would you be off on work if you had that procedure done? So the surgery can take about. Two, two, three hours. Uh, usually, the recovery I say like about a month. Uh, but you should be up and running in about a week. You oh, should really? give yourself about a week off because you'll have a lot. Of, you'll have some pain, and then uh, you don't want the incision to, to open up. So you kind of have to take it easy. So he couldn't come sit here and do radio. The nope. only thing you get rid of <laughs> no, is, is, back, is back fat and stomach fat, and where the teeth could be a little bit more better. We, we can tighten up. We can tighten them up. Yeah, oh, that's good. So now I see you do uh, perform all type of surgery. You do face lift, which you know, which is good for the room. There's eyelid lift, you do liposuction. <laughs> do you do, do you suck away chin fat? <laughs>
Yeah. Yes. Yes. We can do that. There's medications that we can uh, inject. So uh, you may not even need surgery. Really? Yeah. But it's not gonna have me looking crazy, huh? You yeah. should get like a chin like Count Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so what about penile implants? Do you do that too? No, I personally don't do penile implants, but we have that? some surgeons, some uh, part of Lexington plastic surgeons in New York. They, they do. Uh, penile implants. Oh, okay. Now, Todd, oh, from that. A penile implant? That's like when you just you, you creating one. No, for somebody that don't have one, I'm making. No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a device. It's a device that just uh, is placed into the penis, and basically what it does is it allows you to to have an erection. I mean, but it's kind of like a cattail, though. It don't really. Do anything, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of sort of. Uh, I can't. Right. Alright, so it's like like it come like an air pump, like the Reebok pump. Uh, exactly. You pump it up. Uh, and then at the end, it the end they got a thing you can pump, actually yeah. let the air out of it. <laughs> anyway, did anybody want to call and have any questions? Ricky, Ricky Roxy, Roxy say Gary go get the Pelican. What'd you say, Roxy? <laughs> the Pelican procedure. <laughs> But Gary, <laughs> why, why are you doing like that? <laughs> Dr. Jones, because they jealous and hate us. <laughs> Quick with Dr. Jones, keloids. What about keloids? Do you remove keloids? Yes, uh, we, we specialize in keloids, and we have a special uh, way of treating them because typically, if you surgically remove a keloid, it has a high chance of re recurring. And so, what we do is we excise and we also radiate. We do some very superficial radiation, and we have very great results with that. Mm. Yeah, cause my uncle had one and he got his tattooed and it looked like a Bluetooth. <laughs> 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 <laughs>